Hey, what's up? Ben here. Jeff. And we are actually going to start building today. So right now we're about to get started. Jed has measured out his uh, board and I'm about to show him how to cut and uh, start building because he has not, he doesn't have much build experience. Yeah. Alright. Still new. Alright, so show me what you've done. Alright, so basically I measured the whole amount of wood that I needed and I divided them by how much, uh, like, you know, the, the 12 inch piece here, the other 12 inch, the 8, and then. Yeah. It's a very odd way of doing this. So, alright. Let's double check. So 12 inch you're actually going to use first, right? Mm -hmm. So you're making a one foot block. Yeah. Alright. So that says it right there. Yeah, it looks right. Now let's just confirm with the square. When you use two different measuring devices, each of them are going to be a little different. Not every ruler and not every tape measure are going to measure the same. True. So, I like using a square just because, you know, it's a right angle and proper shape, so. Let's put this over here. It's a little bit different. Oh, I, that, that pencil might snap. Yeah, it does. We're using carpenter pencils and these are very difficult to um, sharpen, so it's not the best look right now. I'd rather use a pen or something. But carpenter's pencils are what's standard. Alright. So let's get cut. So what you usually do is use a, if you have a pocket square to use it as the guide. Alright? Alright, most circular, circular saws tend to have little markers on them to tell you where the blade's gonna go. But I like having a pocket square in the opposite hand, guiding it along, keeping it straight, because you never know. Now usually I cut off to get like maybe a little eighth of an inch longer. So then if anything it's a little longer and you can always shave it off some length rather than adding more wood to it afterwards. Yeah. So let's double check this. When you're measuring out your pieces, you want all the pieces to be measured out on the one thing. You want to do it on the one big piece that you're cutting on. Because if you have to split one that you already cut, it becomes, it's a lot more precarious to cut it like this than it is to cut off four inches from one long piece. Now when cutting wood, you also have to take into account for the blade size. So that's going to be like a quarter of an inch or so. So if you do it too, so if you mark it off and do it right where you mark it off, you're usually going to lose a little bit of the wood because you don't account for how much the blade cuts off. So I always do it like a little bit past it. That's why. So when you have, if you have more room to work with, then it's a lot safer. All right. So now I'm gonna show you how the screws are supposed to go in. So. Normally, people would think that you have to put the screw in just one spot. But if you do that, then this is going to swivel around and that's going to cause a lot of problems. So, it's advisable that you should use 
two screws and put one up here in the top and put another one down here in the bottom so it'll stay in place. And do the same thing on the other side as well. Alright, I'm pre-drilling the holes just so they slip in easier and then I'm going to put in a, a sink where it like it basically drills a shallow hole where the screw will be able to penetrate through like the top of the screw head but then it won't go it, it won't dig deeper than that. Power drills make everything easier. Borrow one or you can even rent one from your local hardware store most of the time. So what's this for? This is basically the shape of like a screw head. Uh huh. Oh. So when I drill it, in, it can go in. All right. As you can see, the drill didn't get deep enough in. So I'm. At least it marked it off where I can drill the holes a little deeper so the screw can go in. So that's the plan right now. Be careful with not to wiggle around too much here. That runs the risk of breaking the drill bit. Let the drill drive itself in. You don't have to apply too much pressure just to see. Using some high quality wood screws, they have a self driving light tip, and the shape of it is a square so it has better uh, coverage. Get them both on. Don't want a hole in my hands. A hole in your hand? Oh, okay. Yeah, you are holding a block. Take it first. Take it first. You don't want to shear off the thread. So take your time if you have to and drive it in slowly. That's what she said. Honestly, I love these screws. If you ever used anything else besides these, you'll know that they're annoying. Last one is for Jet. Cool, alright. You can obviously tell who's used to drill more. Yeah. Alright, on to the mount. These are going to be mounted like this, right? Alright, so. What we've done is made this top part, assemble it just like we did this, and now we're putting in the screws at a diagonal angle just to so it's it fits along better. And the only thing I've done is put a, a little hole in there so it's easier to like stick the screw. Out. Now, if you're if you have the equipment, I recommend using a corner jig where you can get like the angle down they usually use it for our drawers on their furniture so then like it makes like a little drill slot for you to like drill into and we're done there now we're just gonna have to drill holes into the side of this so then we can get the um, axle point put in or our little wooden dowel so we can make an axle out of it and then attach the arm to that, and we'll have a catapult. Hey, what up, guys? So, me and Ben just finished uh, my catapult design, and, uh, well, you didn't really see much of it, but then Ben, how he placed the dowel in here, he chiseled holes for the dowel to fit in, 
But then this dowel doesn't rotate. So now what I'm gonna try to do, or what me and Ben are gonna try to brainstorm on, is trying to find a way how to get this, uh, how to get this, this arm to go around the dowel because the dowel is fixed. And we're gonna try to find a way around it because it's my design flaw. Hopefully, well, surely Ben's will be a lot better. But then uh, you can sort of see like the basics and the simplicity of uh, my design. It's basically it. I mean, not much to it, but it's got something.